how do you detox something that is known to create your immune system to overreact and cause kind of systemic inflammatory response in your body? That to me is the wrong question, but many people are asking me, how do I detox from, from something that, you know, gets put into me and causes an inflammatory response? And it's not really a detoxification reaction. A detoxification reaction is something completely different. Detoxification means the ability to break something down and eliminate it and eliminate it from your body. So for example, formaldehyde gets broken down by chlorine and then you pee out the components. Chlorine, same thing. You can break it down and pee it out. Arsenic, you can break it down and pee it out. So that is detoxification. Alcohol, same thing. But if you are getting something put into your body that isn't really detoxifiable, then what do you do? Well, you have to support a healthy inflammatory response. And how do you do that? You have to first understand what the mechanisms are which contributed to this response in the first place. If you're putting something in your body which is known to you contribute to your immune system to work at a very highly excitatory level, then you need to work on calming that down. And a big one is vitamin D. And right now the sun is out, it's waning in some areas. Uh, use the app D-Minder. But if your vitamin D levels are not where they need to be, vitamin D is extremely important to help modulate a healthy immune response. I don't care what some of these people are saying on, on Instagram. I mean, there's people out there giving all sorts of ridiculous information. I think just trying to garner attention by being counter to what all the research is saying or what all these other health professionals are saying about the importance of vitamin D in the immune system. And they're saying how toxic vitamin D is because it's a hormone. Well, that's just nonsense. It is utter nonsense. Look, water has detrimental effects in high amounts. Um, you know, protein has detrimental effects in high amounts. Glutathione, detrimental effects in high amounts. Vitamin D, same thing. We're not talking about you going out and poisoning yourself with vitamin D. We're talking about you going out and supporting an optimal level for you for vitamin D. Do you, some people need to supplement vitamin D? 100% especially if you work indoors, you're out of the sun, maybe you get sun reactivity and you, you get itchy or rashes from the sun. That's becoming more common these days. You know, office jobs are prevalent, you know, and, and quarantining people, I mean, that, that's just dropping their vitamin D levels even more. So vitamin D is, is a very, very important thing for, for people to, to, to using to support their immune system and to balance it. So that's number one. So if your immune system is, you know, you're taking something that you have to and you're concerned that your immune system is going to overreact, A, you question, you know, do I really have to take this thing? Um, you know, or, you know, if you do, you know, or you choose to, then, you know, you got to support your immune system. So vitamin D would be a big one. Uh, another one is to get your BMI down. If your body mass index is higher, meaning that you're overweight by a significant amount, then you need to do everything you can to lose weight. And I'm not talking about just losing weight by, you know, starving yourself. I'm talking about losing weight by exercising and choosing the right foods. A lot of people drink their calories. So if you are drinking Starbucks or sodas or teas or Arizonas or whatever they are, stop drinking things that have calories in them. Change to water. Uh, this can be a big one. So you got to drop the BMI because body mass index is, if it's higher, you know, or your weight is higher, that is very, very pro-inflammatory. You got to lose weight. Um, snacking frequently throughout the day. Every time you snack, you drive your insulin levels up. Every time you drive your insulin levels up to, you know, suck in that sugar and the fuel that you've consumed uh, into your cells, that insulin is driving an, is an inflammatory response. So you gotta minimize how many times your insulin 
goes throughout the day. That's why some people are doing one meal a day or OMAD. That's why some people are doing intermittent fasting or time-restricted feeding. Uh, eating window maybe from 11 to 6 throughout the day. So maybe you eat from 11 to 6, but I'm not saying you eat at 11 and 1 and 3 and 4 and 6. I'm saying, you know, eat at 11, then maybe eat at 3, and then maybe eat at 6, or maybe you eat at 11 and 6. So, and if you're struggling with, like you're always hungry, then you're not what's called metabolically flexible. So you got to be listening to things, you know, to folks like Mike Mutzel or Dr. Paul Saladino um, on Instagram and on YouTube to learn about how to become more metabolically flexible. It's very, very important. Metabolically flexible means that you can go throughout the day pretty easily without having moments of hangry where you're hungry and irritable and you're good. And if you only gravitate towards carbohydrates because that's the only fuel you can burn, that's very, very pro-inflammatory. And you've got to stop that. And it's not easy. I'm not saying it's easy, but the best thing is to do is to move, not exercise is too hard. Uh, take supplements like acetyl L-carnitine, uh, which is this one. Uh, you take this one in the morning. So you take one or two of these in the morning upon waking. Uh, fantastic. Another one for mitochondrial support would be alpha R lipoic acid. This is really, really key. Um, and uh, another one would be liposomal glutathione. So liposomal glutathione, very key for mitochondrial health. If you are not metabolically flexible, the likelihood that your mitochondria are struggling is very high. So, you know, vitamin D, key, mitochondrial health, key. And those three supplements I just showed you are very, very important for mitochondrial health. Look, I'm working with a kid who's 18 years old right now, and his brain is not where he wants it to be. He's, he's having very difficult times where he's disconnecting from his own body, depersonalization, uh, and so on. And so he's been trying, trying all these uh, stimulating type of supplements like 5-HTP and tyrosine and these other things. And they work for a little bit and they can cause it other issues. So I said, okay, let's back off and support your mitochondria. Because if your mitochondria aren't working, your brain isn't working and your immune system isn't gonna be working. So we are nourishing him with mitochondrial support with those three supplements that I just uh, showed you here below, alpha R lipoic acid, the liposomal glutathione, the acetyl carnitine, and he's seeing about five to 10% improvement, uh, you know, compounding every day. And uh, we're getting there. And it's better to improve slowly than it is rapidly um, because if you improve too rapidly, you can just crash. So you want to build the foundation. Um, he was also overtraining. So if you're exercising too hard, your immune response is going to be depleted. So again, a lot of people are asking me, what do I need to do if I'm going to be doing something that causes my immune system to get jacked? Well, all these things I'm discussing are very, very, very important. And um, first you have to weigh the option too. It's like, do you really want to do that? And um, if you say you're forced to, I don't agree with that. There's always a choice. There's always a choice. Um, now, cell membrane health is extremely important as well. And cell membranes are made out of phosphatidylcholine and DHA and phosphatidylserine and phosphatidyl, you know, inositols and other things as well. So taking phospholipids like optimal PC, the liposomal glutathione has phospholipids built in. You want to be getting a fish oil as well. So if you're already consuming fish, make sure it's things like freshwater um, or, or saltwater, you know, deep. <laughs> Wild salmon, there you go. Wild Alaskan salmon. Um, and uh, that, that is good. Um, you don't want to get any farm fish. That's just terrible. But you want to be supplementing with supplements like Optimal DHA. And then you have to ask, okay, how good is the DHA from the company that I'm buying it from? Because it could be full of crap. So Optimal DHA from Seeking Health is certified by IFOS. And you can go on our website and you can read about it. Um, you go to seekinghealth.com and you can go to our Optimal DHA and you can read about the certifications that we have for our Optimal DHA. So these are really important foundational things that we all need to be doing, regardless of what is facing you right now. But I think this, this, this post is extremely important for a lot of us. 
uh, and, and you have to weigh your options. Um, but uh, I am seeing a lot of people being coming very inflamed from things that they have done and they're struggling from it. So what do they do to support that? And the things that I've shared with you today are very, very important. Vitamin D, sleep, getting your weight uh, balanced, becoming metabolically flexible, and all of this takes time. So you're not gonna be doing this overnight. We're all looking for that magic pill. It doesn't exist, okay? So you gotta put the work in. Health is spelled W-O-R-K. And um, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's crazy times right now. And I really want you knowing that you're choices that you make every single day and the next choice that you make and the next bite of food that you put into your mouth the next piece you know <laughs> breath of air that you inhale that is all dictated upon your environment and your situation and you need to put yourself in the appropriate environments to optimize your life if you're inhaling air that is full of dry, scented dryer sheets or car exhaust or boat exhaust or you know you know, people smoking cigarettes, uh, it's just not gonna do you well. Or if you're cooking over a stove with gas and you don't have the hood on, moms, dad, kids, whoever cooking, you gotta have the hood on. That is extremely toxic to your health. Turn on the, the fan, the blower, and suck all those toxic fumes out. Um, if you're not doing that, it's gonna be an issue. So your daily choices matter. And if you think they don't, start doing it and you're gonna start seeing some incremental improvement like this kid is and he's very thankful for his improvements. So I hope this helps you. You can comment below on other things, breath work, meditation, stretching, doing things that you love with the people that you love, avoiding the people that you don't wanna be around, turning off the damn media because the media is about as toxic as it comes these days. Um, so anyway, I, uh, I'm doing what I can, I'm saying what I can, in ways that are more indirect that I don't like doing because I like speaking my mind. And um, please comment appropriately below and um, appropriately to <laughs> this current uh, regime. And uh, I've got your back as much as I can. All right, take care.